So what I want to explain to people is if you're entitled, whether rich or poor, you're in the same shape. But if you're empowered to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential, you have a huge advantage by growing up rich. Are people who are born rich, rich disadvantaged to achieving their life's maximum potential? So there are a lot of people, let me preface that question, that are born rich, but the, the, because of their being rich, like people think, oh, that, they're, they're so jealous of them. But the reality is they're so disadvantaged. But I don't want, I don't want to preface the answer. I, I love to hear your thoughts. Well, first of all, I love this question. And if I wasn't in the bonus one, I wouldn't take the time to tell you that. <laughs> but I, I just have to tell you, I start off, you know, I speak around the world. And I just spoke on Sunday at the Long Beach uh, Convention Center, 2,000 people. And I started out by saying, who's here is, is rich? And, you know, and half the people raised their hand. I said, who here grew up poor? And half the people, you know, raised their hand. I said, I feel sorry for the rest of you. Um, so um, you can't teach poor, right? You, you can learn rich, but you can't teach poor. And what does that mean? That just because you're rich doesn't mean you were born on third base and you think you hit a home run, but you have much more of a danger of feeling that way, of being entitled. Uh, I will tell you from experience, especially within the context of my internship program, that half of the interns that I take, they earn it. They have resumes that are in extraordinary shape, right? They have extreme skill, knowledge, and desire. And half of the kids that I take in internships are from relationships. And, you know, my greatest fear was there'd be this huge separation between the kids who earned it that were chosen from their resumes and interviews and the kids that got the internship because of my relationships with the high powered elite of the world. The truth is 50% of the kids that I choose from the resumes were entitled and 50% of the kids that were quote unquote rich we're entitled. And what I learned was that if we can empower rich or poor kids, if we can empower them to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of their potential, the rich have a huge advantage over the empowered people, not the entitled. See, the entitled people, whether you're rich or poor, you end up in happy with unhappy and usually with nothing. Your wealth dissipates, dissolves, and disappears because I was self entitled. Right, I wasn't grew up rich, but all the lessons that I learned from being poor, they were left with entitlement. And then when I regained it, I was able to make more money, help more people and have more fun. So what I want to explain to people is if you're entitled, whether rich or poor, you're in the same shape. But if you're empowered to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential, you have a huge advantage by growing up rich because your starting point so much further, your relationship capital, the spheres of influence, are so much more valuable to some rich empowered person than someone that's poor and empowered. There's tons of poor empowered people that are so far behind the rich empowered kid that just gets every opportunity and takes advantage of it.